But this video is going to be the second part of my Sephora haul. I finally got all my items in. It's been a while. I've been kind of just um, keeping everything in these boxes. So, I'm finally getting around to doing the second part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. right in. I also am going to be doing a giveaway at the end, so be sure to stay tuned. So the first things I picked up were from Hourglass, and I got the Ambient Strobe Light. I got it in Luminous, Diffused, and Incandescent. I also picked up an uh, Hourglass Ambient Light. Uh, this one is in the shade Euphoric. I love using Euphoric all over my, uh, like an overall glow powder. So it comes like this really pretty so this one I like to put like all over the face um, I like to dip my brush in this and then go into my uh, hourglass um, translucent powder and then it's like an all-over powder I think it looks real amazing that's how I get my overall glow my next item is from Charlotte Tilbury now this is the bronze and glow so it looks like this so it has the sculpt and glow so you have the bronzer as well as the highlight um, the next item i got this one is for me gasm. and then it is the, so it's a nude gasm face palette now it has the super glow uh, multi-glow super sculpt and soft sculpt i love charlotte tilbury's packaging so pretty um and it looks like this a lot of people i've seen a lot of people rave about this and i couldn't pass it up my next item i picked up was the charlotte tilbury skincare wardrobe um it comes with her magic cream uh, her elixir as well as the magic cream light now I already have the magic cream but um, it's really emollient uh, moisturizer uh, but the light is supposed to be better for oily skin so I couldn't pass this little trio up uh, mainly I bought it for the light but these two are gonna be for me <laughs> the next item is the Laneige um, glowy makeup serum now I am a sucker for a serum but when I saw Laneige had um, they had this beautiful glowy serum. I couldn't pass it up. I'm all about that glow. So the next item I wanted to share was the Laneige um, toner and moisturizer. Absolutely love this. I got this in a sample size and it was amazing. Like after I cleanse, I would do my toner, then my serum. Um, this is a little sample size that I had gotten. This one is also a sample size, but I thought I would add this to my makeup kit. So also from Laneige, I picked up the Cream Skin Mist. It comes like this. Um, it's great for normal to dry skin. Some everything in this box is for me. Um, it's just a whole bunch of different foundations that I've been wanting to try out. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you all the foundations that I picked up, as well as some powder. The first ones I picked up was the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundations, and then I got two. I got it in 30 nn as well as 40 nn. Also from Urban Decay is the Stay Hydromatic tinted glow hydrator so i've seen a lot of people rave about this so one. i got it in 30 and 40 my next one was the huda beauty uh, faux filter skin finish now this one is a um, cream foundation i'm not a big on cream foundations for myself because i am oily in my teeth my nose just tends to eat the foundation but i'm excited to try this one out so i got it in latte as well as custard. So also from Huda Beauty, it was the glowish powders. Um, a lot of people, um, I've seen a lot of people rave about this as well. And I've also seen some that were not crazy about it, but I'm excited to try it up in fair and light medium. Another Huda Beauty was the, uh, her translucent powders. I got it in the mini size. I got it in banana bread. And then this one is in pound cake. So it looks like this. I thought this was too cute. So I also picked up the Huda Beauty a water jelly a hydro grip. Um, so excited to try this out. Every time I went to my local Sephora, they would never had it. So when um, I did my big order, I had to pick this up. So I also picked up her all over highlighter. I got it in, what did I get it in? Aphrodite, Aphrodite and Luna. Um, I remember um, Nikki Tutorials used to use this all over her face. I know she still does. I don't know if she still does, but um, she would put it all over her face and then add her foundation. I just absolutely love the glow in her skin. So I'm excited to try these. So I did pick up two foundations from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is her Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So a lot of makeup artists raved about this foundation. Um, I picked it up in 4 Neutral and 5.5 Neutral. I don't know if you can see that. But so excited to try these out. The next two foundations that I picked up were the Dior Backstage. Now these remind me of 
the MAC Face and Body. Uh, the MAC Face and Body is my absolute favorite foundation to use in my kit. Um, I, but I wanted to try these out to see if they compare. Uh, but I know MAC just currently uh, reformulated their uh, foundation. So I'm excited to try these out. And the last item I picked up and most excited was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now this is a makeup artist treasure. Um, I did pick it up in 2N1 and 1N0. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and then I also picked up the pumps so that way they don't get too And much. now for the giveaway, um, I just wanted to do like a Sephora Love giveaway, um, you know, for the month of February. Um, these are the items that I picked up. I picked up the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Eyeshadow Palette as well as the Huda Beauty Juicy Kit. Um, all you have to do to enter is like and share, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment entered, and follow my Instagram, Lily Luna Beauty. So that was my haul as well as my little mini giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.